What up, YouTube? It's Kiki Cohen. I'm back at it with another video. If you're new to my channel, hey, boo! I am back with the videos. I know I've been in my A for so long, and I know I always have an excuse. But baby girl and baby boy, like life be lifing. Give me a break. Oh, takes a one year break. But um, I'm back, babies. Damn, this noise, like, I really need to get out of the hood because <laughs> I can't even make a video without a noise coming by. Like, bitch, simmer. But I'm back, bitches, and I am ready to talk my shit once again. I missed talking my shit with you guys. <laughs> So this is a stripper one-on-one -on -one video, so if you're not interested in stripper life and you don't support the movement, then baby girl and baby boy, you know, you could just tap out of this video right now. But if you're here for it, then hey boo! <laughs> Today's topic is how to politely ask for tips. You know, how to, how to get more out of your client or customer without seeming too needy, without like seeming desperate, thirsty. There is techniques for that. There's techniques for everything as well, baby girl, baby boy. And this is why these videos are super important. You need to subscribe right now so that you can keep up. Sorry, guys. My camera shut down. But back to what I was saying, it is very important to do your research and to get as many tips and tricks as you can. Don't ever think that you got this game figured out. Do your research. Take advice from girls that have been in the industry before you. You know, like, a lot of people try to, like, okay I'm, I'm gonna go this route and i know what i'm doing and no you want to make the most money you can because there's there's bands to be made but if you're not taking it seriously and you're not taking these you know what i'm saying these tips seriously then you're not gonna see it i'm really gonna enjoy making this video because this is a requested video i love when you guys request videos for me please don't ever be shy to do so get in the comments i look through all my comments um when i can and i just love like providing for you guys you know i love giving out information that you guys really want to know you know instead of me just like from the top of my head like i'm gonna do this video i'm gonna just talk about this no like i want it to be something you guys want me to talk about and you guys really want to know about so and i feel like this is very important i would say asking is okay you guys know the saying it's not what you say is how you say it this goes very much in handy like um I feel like it's okay to ask and not only is it okay to ask I feel like you should ask like don't ever not ask because the thing is that I mean unless they're throwing 10 bands you know what I mean and they're just throwing it in the air and you know whatever but like if you like making 500 or a band you can make way more you know all you gotta do is ask just ask politely literally like hey baby like um do you want to cash out some more but like be cute about it like you know like be like looking at him like contact like you know be cute like don't be like don't sound desperate like don't be like oh my god i need more or like oh um take out more be like on some cute shit like hey do you want to take out some more for me um so i can keep dancing for you i want to stay with you for the rest of the night until the club closes you know like just just make them feel special, you know, like, it's really that simple, like, it's really not that hard. I get guys to, I push for tips every chance that I get, like, matter of fact, every time I'm talking to a client, a customer, I push for tips. I always ask for more, and to be honest, like, I know it's kind of hard because, you know, independency and you don't want to ask, but, like, in this industry, baby, you have to ask, <laughs> I mean, this man that's going to offer a certain amount, but are you going to settle or are you going to get that bag? You know what I mean? Another reason why I say that it's okay to ask is because a lot of guys come to the strip club and they don't even know what they're doing. They don't know how much money they want to spend. They don't know how much money they should spend. And their head is like, especially if it's a, a client, a customer that, um, that never been to the strip club before, or like doesn't do it often, or it hasn't been with, like hasn't came for just one girl and just stayed with one girl. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, like ever since I started asking for more, I started getting more, way more. 
because if they like you and they're ready to spend money on you, nine times out of ten, they're willing to spend more. You know, you just gotta ask the right way. And like I said, like sometimes they just don't know, and that's why they're not spending a certain amount. They could always spend more. The only way that you're gonna get the no or like the iffy, awkward, like mm, or like the the ones that ignore you is if they either don't have it or you're not their type. Also, if you say it the wrong way, it also could seem like you're taking advantage of them. So you gotta be very careful with the way that you say it. Even me, like there be times I'd be aggressive with the way I ask and I might not get it, you know, but then I'll go to somebody else and get it, you know. But it's just like the delivery. Everything in this in this life, when you're speaking to somebody, communicating with somebody, it's about your delivery and how you say it. This is why I'm here to help you guys so you guys can learn from my mistakes. The reason that I know this is because it's from experience. It's also very important to tease the customers. You know, like, just like flirt with them a little bit. You know, touch up on yourself a little bit. You know, touch their face, like their neck area. Like, you know, like, just be sexy. Don't do too much touching because some guys don't like that. Some guys do not like to be touched. Make sure that he's comfortable with you touching him. Um, Maybe ask, like, hey, is this okay? You know, like... And then, when I said that, that was mad funny for some reason. But, um, <laughs> is this okay? <laughs> nah, I got it. Bro, <laughs> it's so funny because I have such a bubbly personality. So, when it's time for me to be sexy, it's like, I doubt us could do that. <laughs> it's acting skills. I don't know if I mentioned this in one of my other videos or not, but also, like, when you're giving a dance, you want to lure them in so let's say he gets one dance or she because we have girl customers too baby girl don't get it twisted these girls be starting their money too these girls be tricking on me too when you're giving the dance a lot of the times they're gonna say they want one dance they actually want five they just don't know if you're worth five dances right because the more dances they get the more money they have to spend so when I'm about to finish a dance what I do is like so like usually I have like a bikini and then I have like a dress on top so I'm giving a dance I'm giving a dance here goes the noise again and this is what it's like to live in New York City so much like i need a place where like no noise comes through like i want to wake up and hear nothing nothing but whatever back to regular programming okay so back to the same what was i saying the dance so i'm giving a dance i'm giving a dance whatever um i'm obviously gonna show my ass and shake that ass if it's a turkey song of course or the wine whatever um but when it's almost time to finish that dance, what I do is I like start taking it off slowly and then like start like caressing my titties a little bit. You know, I feel like I'm about to take my top off, but I'm not taking it off. But I'm about to act like it. And I'll be like, do I need to stop dancing? And nine times out of ten, if you do this the right way, they're going to say, not yet. Let's go for another one. Or not yet. Let's go for two more. By the way, guys, like, I work in the city. So, like, for the urban clubs, um, it might be a little different. When you're dealing with, like, hood clubs. I wouldn't even say hood guys because it'd be hood guys in the city, too. But they understand that it's a different aesthetic. So, this also works on hood guys, too. So, don't think that this is just for white for the city white clients no like this works on any type of client but in the city club where they do dances and vip rooms and stuff like that the hood clubs i would say the way to get more tips i would say um because i started off in a hood club you know i started off in queen what i would do to get guys to like tip me more is honestly like just be myself like i would just like be myself and hang out with them like literally like as a friend like i do this also in the city like and guys love that when you can just have a genuine conversation that has nothing to do with money or nothing to do with um 
them tipping you or, or, or nothing to do with what's going on. Sometimes it's not even about them trying to leave with you or trying to see you another day or or trying to be with you. Sometimes it's not about that. Sometimes it's really just about personality. You can be beautiful and make no money because your personality is not to par or because you cannot hold a conversation. If you do not know how to hold conversations with strangers, which is actually not that easy, like what do you talk about with a stranger, right? Um, Listen, you got to just make it up at that point. Like... I'm very good at communicating with strangers because that's a communication. I took two years of communication classes, so like that would I would say does help me out a lot. I can have a full blown conversation with a stranger. You would think that we were best friends, and it's like no, we just met. No, literally, definitely work on your communication skills because that's gonna take you so far. Um, in the urban clubs, is more about body wise, right? So, you're gonna get into a section based off your body and your looks, like, how pretty you are, I guess, or whatever. More so body. But you want to stay in the section. Because what guys do sometimes when they have a section is that they rotate girls. So, like, they will, like, have you for a few and then want a whole new set of girls. You want to be able to hold that section down. As soon as you get into that section, that's your section. You're not getting off this section. These guys or these girls or both parties, they love you in this section. Even if they take other girls out, you're staying in that section. This is this is where you're going to stay. Because getting into the section is one thing. But being able to stay in it is another one. You want everybody to love you. And, and after a certain while, it's not, it's not about shaking ass anymore or your body tape or how pretty you are. After a certain time, it's about can you hold the conversation? Are you awkward? Are you weird? Like, are you a fun person? You know what I mean? Are you drinking and socializing? Like, you have to act like you're with them, partying. You have to act like you came with the game. Be the homie, but the sexy homie that gets money. 